Welcome to the lecture in the Bridge to the Future series and dedicated to the world's largest bridges. Apart from the record breaking structures sorted according to um, certain criteria and confronted uh, with published achievements, I will also show mega bridges which will challenge the engineers in this still young 21st century. I hope uh, it will be some inspiration for you about your future career and professional adventure. Who knows, maybe you will build real mega bridges in the future. First, we will try to systematize, systematize uh, these record structures um, using certain specific criteria. And then uh, we will confront them with our published achievements. We will see the longest uh, structures according to the total length and span, clearance and pillar height. Then the longest spans by material and system like masonry, cantilever and girder, arch, truss, cable stead and suspension. If after all these uh, you will find that these are not yet any mega bridges, then in the, in the end uh, we will see what the next challenges await bridge designers, bridge engineers in the 21st century and whether we can overcome the next barriers of the bridge span. Let's start, however, with a short walk around Gliwice. Uh, contrary to appearances, uh, there are quite a few interesting bridges in our city, although not all of them are immediately noticeable. First, uh, Zwycięstwa Street and the recently renovated bridge over Kłodnica River. Uh, a characteristic viaduct over the tracks in the intersection of Zabska Polska and Hazowska streets is quite sensitive to vibrations. You can feel them when you come across a truck or a bus passing by while waiting for the lights, for example. Of course, there is no need to be afraid. The bridge is as safe as possible despite its advanced age. Uh, we'll leave the A1 motorway at the largest motorway junction in our country. Uh, we have several larger and characteristic bridges. The first is these red uh, gapless arc. The second is a suspended uh, cable state bridge with an oblique pylon under which nearly 100,000 passes day for motorway everyday vehicles. And one more at the Picare Shlansky junction on the A1 motorway. Very delicate network arch construction that has a fantastic illumination. You could say that we have started to love bridges ex excessively recently. Well, that's for sure, if only because of my profession and the passion. On the other hand, others want to express their great mutual love by hanging a padlock and a romantic gesture of throwing the key into the water. Unfortunately, uh, such an over-affection uh, can become dangerous for the object to express these feelings over time. This then forces the designers to intervene drastically sometimes, or maybe something should just be changed in the load standards. Let's say that extra filling load, which should be applied to the railings, but we are here to see mega bridges, not rusty padlocks. Here they are in a few snapshots, hundreds of pillars and tens of kilometers of spans in great bays. 
Special construction methods have been developed that allow us to achieve a high pace of implementation. These multi-tone precast concrete elements have a millimeter accuracy to fit together like Lego blocks. New design and material solutions allow increasing the height of the pylons and the spans. While driving on the highest bridges, we can even reach the top of clouds. And finally, the longest spans of the sus suspension bridges, which will probably not be beaten uh, for a long time. So let's check what the current bridge records are. I'd like to emphasize, however, that these are quite serious records and they do not belong to Guinness Book at all. Well, first, we need to set some criteria for comparing the largest bridges. The first will be the total length of the bridge. It doesn't evoke any great emotions among designers. The real challenge for the bridge engineers in overcoming another span barrier is uh, the distance between adjacent supports, the span. Besides, we will see the world's highest support, which is sometimes also difficult to achieve, and we'll look at the bridges that are highest above the obstacle. In this case, it is more about aesthetic impressions because there are simply no such places in Poland. So we start with the total length of the bridge. Here the record holder is the road bridge and tunnel crossing over the Pearl River Delta, connecting Macau with Hong Kong. The length of the entire crossing is 55 kilometers, including 33 kilometers of the main bridge and over six kilometers of an underwater tunnel. Now let's see the construction stages of this world's longest bridge. First, the foundations and concrete pillars in the sea. And now repeat spans with the precast segments. And longer spans made in situ construction with travelers. In the second place is the Bank Na flyover in the center of Bangkok. The 27 meters wide span was built of such a precast elements 
as much as 54 kilometers and the span is not at all impressive, only 42 meters. And the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway is a bridge across a lake in Louisiana in the United States. The bridge consists of two lines. The first one was built in 1956 and the second parallel was established in 1969. The construction of the bridge made it possible for the inhabitants of the northern shore of the lake to quickly reach New Orleans. The railway line was designed in China uh, for passenger traffic only. Uh, the Chinese government built uh, the line to accommodate trains traveling at the maximum speed of 350 km per hour. When the line opened in August uh, 28, it set the record for the fastest conventional train service in the world by top speed and reduced travel time between the two larger cities in northern China from 70 to 30 minutes only. And this is the top 10 list of the longest bridges in the world. As you can see, uh, they are tens of kilometers. In Poland, the longest bridge of this type are not even two kilometers long. But it will certainly have to change, especially in the most urbanized areas. The second category is the height of the pylon. Do not kill yourself. In this competition, the bridges will not win against the tallest towers and buildings. But as you will see in a moment, they are they they do not differ much from them. The currently highest pylon is the Milo Viaduct in France. It is 343 meters long, high. Its construction was based on moving the finished span over previously made pillars, incremental launching. This was often done above the clouds. So it is 20 meters higher than the Alpha Tower. Is that a lot? The four-story block is approximately 15 meters. And the highest in Poland, Palace of Culture in Warsaw, is 237 meters, with 42 floors. The end result is amazing. And in this photo, you can only see the enormity of this structure. That is a mega bridge, definitely. I allowed myself to show you this classic view with clouds. For many years, Golden Gate was a world record holder in many categories. But remember that it was built 80 years ago. And it is still in, inspires admiration. And the list of the highest pylons in which Golden Gate is still in the top 10. The highest Polish pylon is in the Rangiski Bridge in Wroclaw, which is uh, which I will talk about later. Another category is the height, the height of of the clearance. Uh, that's the position of the bridge span over the above the ground. Here and like many other categories. The Chinese dominate. Uh, these are really unusual pictures. We are almost half a kilometer from the hanging span, almost a kilometer long to the bottom of the valley. In such a situation, construction is possible only with the use of cable transport. The photo shows the solemn moment of launching the rocket, which will transport the first rope to the valley's other side. This will allow you to attach the entire rigging system without using the space under the bridge. It is the world's sixth highest bridge and the highest pipeline bridge, Hedger George Pipeline Bridge, 
uh, it is a suspension bridge spanning 470 meters over the Heiju River. It is used for transporting petroleum oil from southeast Mananda oil field in the southern highlands province of Papua New Guinea. Uh, and another Chinese bridge, and believe me, nothing extraordinary. That's a suspension bridge over a gorge in China. Here you can see the enormous size of uh, main cable and and a truss girder. And the top 10 list of the highest located bridges in the world. So we start the most exciting criterion with a span lens. In this case, uh, not all bridges are comparable with each other. The span depends mainly on the structural system and material used. For example, it is not possible to achieve a one kilometer span with an ordinary beam or truss. It is completely unprofitable to build a suspension bridge with a span of several dozen meters. So we have to sort the structures by type and material and look for the biggest ones in each group. We start with the smallest ones, arches made of stone or bricks. There is no point in breaking new records here, although it allowed the Romans to build their empire. This material has not been widely used in bridge engineering for over 100 years. The world of bridges has changed completely since the invention of pre-stressed concrete. Only as you can see, uh, the Chinese, just before entering the path of rapid economic development, not yet familiar with modern structures, were developing techniques for construction stone arch bridges, like this one. And thanks to that, uh, they have their records, maybe unbeatable for the next hundred years. As can be seen, uh, the largest European bricks bridges, um, arch bricks bridges, date, may, date back to the beginning of the 20th century. This is the list of the largest uh, masonry arches. It won't change anymore unless one of them has to be demolished. For over a hundred years, we have been witnessing the competition between two basic construction materials, steel and concrete. Until the mid 20th century, steel was unbeatable when it comes to span length. Today, the situation has changed a bit. The longest steel beam span is in Brazil. It has a span of 300 meters. It is definitely an expensive structure and difficult to maintain. As we know, steel is expensive and easily corrodes, which requires constant renewal of anti-corrosion protection, which is very expensive in such a large structures. This elegant bridge in Germany is in the second place. Uh, the outermost spans have additional external pre-stressing tendons. I decided to show one big steel bridge from Brazil yet. Maybe some of this Brazilian sun will come to us for a while. In this category, we have quite diverse countries and relatively old records. There is no need to expect any new spectacular construction here. The state of steel concrete rivalry changed in the mid 20th century when concrete beams began to be stressed. They have become 
a very reasonable alternative to steel structures. Firstly, at the lower cost, they allow similar large spans to be achieved. And secondly, these bridges are much more durable and corrosion resistant. The Shibanpo Yangtze River Bridge consists of a pair of pre-stressed concrete box girder bridges over the Yangtze River in Chongqing, in China. Here I decided to show only the third concrete beam bridge from Norway on the list, mainly for aesthetic reasons, but also not to be too monotonous with the, with the Chinese only. In ninth place is the Australian Gateway Bridge, built of precast box segments. Besides, as you can see, the Norwegians are the best in the world at the moment, and they mastered the pre-stressed concrete technology very well due to their harsh environmental conditions in the fjords around the Arctic Circle. Trusses. Trusses are almost unambiguously associated with bridges, mainly railway bridges, built uh, on the increasingly dense network of railway lines during the Industrial Revolution. The largest truss bridge in the world, however, is the Japanese road Ikitsuki Bridge with uh, 400 meters span. The U.S. Astoria Megler Bridge in the United States is, is the second place. Uh, a similar static diagram and geometry of the truss top flank which begins to resemble the rope geometry of the suspension bridge. Another example comes from America. It is difficult to say here whether it is still a truss or a lattice arch. This category will probably not see another record soon either. The golden age of four trusses came in the second half of the 20th century when the then economic powers such as the USA and Japan benefited from even cheaper steel. We are now starting the categories with more and more beautiful bridges. First, the concrete arches. The Chinese are currently building the most arched bridges in the world and have mastered uh, almost all the techniques for their construction. And it's not easy at all. Many of you may have seen this bridge before. In my opinion, it's, it is one of the most beautiful bridges in the world. Very elegant and delicate perfectly fitting into the rocky shores of the island of Kirk in Croatia. The completion of the Gopitan Dam, situated 40 kilometers down the river from the bridge side, has created a reservoir which extends under the bridge. The true 256 meter drop to the valley floor can now not be seen due to approximately 100 meters of water below the bridge. To my goal, Callahan Pat the Million Memorial Bridge is an art bridge in the United States that spans the Colorado River between the states of Arizona and Nevada. The bridge is located within the Lake Mid National Recreation Area approximately 30 miles southwest of Las Vegas. For almost 20 years, the Croats have enjoyed having their record-breaking bridge on Kirk. We can fly and be them. Cantilever bridges 
were the only way to overcome the span barrier of a hundred years ago. Not very strong yet, non weldable steel. A small light span was articulated on the two monstrous supports. The idea is presented here by 19th century, century designers, and each of you can, can repeat it at home. The largest bridges that has been built in this way is the bridge in Quebec. Almost 550 meters reached exactly 100 years ago. It will stay that, that way forever. One of the reasons why it happened was this catastrophe. This bridge collapsed twice during construction. In 1906, 74 workers were killed, and in 1916, 11 workers. Bridge disasters could be the subject of the separate lecture, so uh, many have happened already. To reassure you, um, I will add the most often they take place during construction, not in existing bridges during operation. I could not forgive myself this bridge. In my opinion, it is a symbol of the age of the railway and the turn of the 19th and 20th century. The Crescent City Connection is twin cantilever bridge over the Mississippi River in New Orleans, Louisiana, United States. As Hurricane Katrina approached the city in August 25, two overhead signs were blown down on the older span, but no other damage occurred to either bridge. As you can see, uh, the last cantilever bridges were built in, in the 1970s. There is no point in, in the further development. Steel arches usually have their girders above the deck with the road. These are the so-called bridges uh, with the driving downhill, unlike concrete arches, which, as we have seen, more often have a bridge, a deck, over the arch. However, this is not a rule. The largest bridge with a span of 667 meters is currently under construction in Dubai. I think they, they, they are having a small economic crisis, crisis there, if at all possible, because the bridge was supposed, supposed to be ready in uh, 2015. Therefore, the Chinese bridge with an open work and lattice arch girder is, is still the record holder. Again, there may be a problem with the classification. Is it an arch or a truss? And here's a cro cross the, another Chinese looper bridge. Uh, today it is the second largest arch bridge in the world. It is located in Shanghai. It runs along the Huangpu River, connecting two city districts. Let's also see this American bridge that looks like a Western. Uh, anyway, it was built when Westerns were very popular, uh, and many of them had sense of blowing up a railroad bridge. I also had to show this famous bridge, since I managed to go to Australia just before the pandemic and climb to its top. It is the only such a bridge on which climbs are organized. You can admire the wonderful panorama of, of Sydney's Bay and Opera House. You can see that China is slow taking over this category. You will probably be surprised, but uh, 
we are right after the Chinese that when it comes to the number of recently built such bridges, this is due to the nature of, of our obstacles and the lowland topography in Poland. Our record is currently 270 meters. We crossed a barrier of a kilometer long span, almost by our lips and bounds. Uh, this is possible thanks to a relatively new idea of a cable state bridge. The first such a bridge was built in the mid 20th century. And please do not confuse it with a suspension bridge. This is the only category in which the Russians have decided to show themselves, literally by 16 meters. They beat the Chinese by construction a bridge in, in the Vladivostok region, leading to the island where the Asia-Pacific summit was to take place. The bridge has 55,000 passing vehicles a day, while the population on the island is many times smaller. And this is a Chinese bridge that has been detroned. At the same time, it is one of the three cable state bridges in the world that have crossed the one kilometer barrier. As a result of the interesting challenges and extreme difficulty in constructing this stone cutters bridge in Hong Kong, the project was featured on two of the Discovery Channel's extreme engineering movie. The Tatara Bridge in Japan uh, was for many years the longest cable state bridge in the world. And only after 10 years the Chinese defeated him. Normandy Bridge in France is the longest cable state bridge in Europe and fifth longest in the world. The category is again dominated by, by the Chinese. Our contribution is 375 meters of the cable state bridge span in, in Plotsk on Vistula River. And the last category of suspension bridges where the main load bearing elements is a rope stretched between pylons or more often two ropes, two cables. While these spans from 300 up to 900 meters, suspension bridges are currently the most economical, like cable state bridges are currently the most economical solution. And now the last category of suspension bridges. Here the main load bearing element is a cable stretched between pylons or more often two cables. While with spans from 300 to 900 meters, cable state bridges are currently the most economical solution. However, both a kilometer, except for the three bridges shown earlier, there are actually only suspension structures. For almost 20 years, the Japanese Akashi Kaiko has the longest span in the world. The span is a bit unusual, 1991 meters. The question is, where does this one meter come from? This is definitely not the result of converting imperial units to metric. Well, the bridge was planned for 1990 meters. However, during construction, the earthquake moved both pylons just one meter away. It is difficult for everyone to break this record. The second on the list is a Chinese bridge with a span shorter by over 300 meters. The longest suspension bridge in Europe is the Great Belt Bridge in Denmark. The next place has a bridge in China again. And now Humber Bridge in UK.
Tarkish bridge, uh, such as the third Vosphorus bridge, rise higher and higher. We can also see that in the last 10 years, only one bridge from Tarki has reached the top 10. Taking into account the condition of the world economy, nothing will change for some time. So here we have a range of spans, depending on the type and material and the year of construction. We can see that uh, longer over kilometer spans are possible only with some few three examples of cable state bridges and the rest are suspension bridges. It was the last category and we can sum it up now. Uh, the Chinese have the most bridges in the top 10 followed by the Americans. This is more than half of all the others. Three record-breaking bridges are in China and two in Japan. The other countries have just one record each. So let's look at our Polish achievements in bridges. Um, I will no longer discuss them by system and material but simply from the longest, longest spans. It is generally the longest span in Poland. It is a cable state bridge with single pylons and a single plane cable stays. Here we have the largest Polish arches, actually two twin arches on the bridge in Torun. It is worth mentioning the technology of manufacturing in which the arches mounted on the shore were transported by shoulders, barges to their destination. The operation was complicated due to the constantly changing water level in the Vistula River. It is the largest single pylon bridge in Europe. Construction of such bridges is very difficult due to their apparent symmetry, but easy to lose stability. The size of this bridge can only be assessed on these drawings. The interior of the main spar span is actually a corridor in which large cars could move freely. In the case of many others, although perhaps slightly larger bridges in the world, this is exactly the case. Most often, railway tracks are placed on the lower deck. The Ostruda Bridge on the S7 road has the longest span of extra dosed bridge in Europe. The most frequently photographed in Poland and shown in films or commercials is the Świętokrzyski Bridge in Warsaw, for which the national stadium is, is the background. This bridge kept many politicians awake at night from almost uh, seven years. Perhaps you remember the com commotion around him. As a result, we could not reach the A1 motorway directly to the Czech border. For all of those who have fallen into the media reports of a small stream on which a mighty bridge has been unnecessarily built, this is the photo showing that can happen. what can happen to such a stream when it rains a little bit more. But let engineers take care of bridges, not politicians and journalists. And what bridges of the future are we dreaming about today? Now I'd like to show you three more and more realistic bridge concepts that every bridge designer dreams of. Even 10 years ago, it seems that 
Italians would be able to get to Sicily without the ferry. Even the company that started its first works has already been established. The ongoing crisis, however, forced them to resign completely. Or is it the result of the Sicilian Mafia? The bridge was to have a record span of over 3 kilometers, so much more than the current less than 2 kilometers. The construction itself is uh, very similar to the Japanese Akashi Kaiko. The second bridge is a much more emotional connection between Europe and Africa, crossing the Strait of Gibraltar. It would be 14 kilometers long with an impressive five kilometers span. Many design ideas appeared. The most advanced are the hybrid suspension and the cable state bridge and the network bridge. Everything indicates, however, that the idea of construction a tunnel will win, which seems to be a, a cheaper and safer solution. The last one is the very futuristic idea of construction a bridge across the Bering Strait. Tsar Nicholas II was already thinking about the merger of Alaska and Russia. At the beginning of the 20th century, even the construction costs of such a railway line were determined. Today uh, it is around hundred billion dollars. The idea was repeated many times, but it is an extreme endeavor. In winter temperatures temperatures there drop to minus fifty degrees and the pressure of ice on the pillars during the freezing of the ocean exceeds four and a half thousand tons. However, it is important to know that the work is still underway to create a global road and railway network, reducing transport costs and shortening delivery times. In the case of the Bering Strait, it would involve constructing a tunnel, but again, it is more real than a bridge. The tunnel itself would be twice as long as the, the one under the English Channel. But it is not enough. Unfortunately, there is now a complete void on both sides of the strait, completely nothing. Therefore, thousands of kilometers of tracks and access roads must be built additionally. And this will take many decades. This is end of today's lecture. Thank you for your attention and I invite you to the next lectures in Bridges to the Future series.